What's going on guys? Big Jer here with Warp Academy. As you know, our Ableton certified trainers here at Warp Academy have done a full playlist of in-depth videos looking at each of the features in the Ableton Live 10.1 update. So I'll leave a link below. Make sure you check them all out so you guys can get up and running as quick as possible. In this video, I'll be talking about all the new automation features. There's actually quite a few and they're cool. So let's get into it. All right, guys, I know you're as excited as me about these 10.1 updates. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the new automation features. So what are they and how do we use them? So let me go ahead and list them off for you first, tell you what they are, and then let's jump into an Ableton Live session where I could demo them for you. First up, we got insert shapes. So now we can actually insert predefined shapes into automation lanes. We can stretch and skew automation. This is a completely new thing and I can't wait to show it to you. There's simplified curves. So draw mode has been improved overall fewer breakpoints are created, and it's now aware of curve movements when you're drawing in freehand. Finally, there's numerical value input to breakpoints and segments, where you can actually type in values. This is a blessing. So let's take a look at how to use these features. We're gonna be using a special Ableton project to demo these features. It's gonna be available for free on Warp Academy. Just check the link below the video to get all the free downloads. That way, you could follow along with me. Let's get into it. As you may have noticed, I've had a lot of fun messing around with these new features. You can see that my super saw stack, I've got a utility on the group. What I'm doing is automating the gain. So it's creating a sort of volume enveloping effect. And this is what's giving my super saw stack its pulse. Let's actually zoom in on a small section where we can erase what I had and experiment with some fresh automation. This way I can clearly demo all the new features. It is worth mentioning for this effect to work properly, you're going to have to set a maximum value for your gain because you don't want it to be popping up over zero. So over here, I've just set a maximum value for zero. All right, so let me just swing down here and uh, get out of map mode. Let's go ahead and right click on the arrangement and we can see there's new options in the dropdown menu. First up, let's look right at the bottom where you could see there's predefined shapes now added for us to use. All you have to do is highlight an area, go into the drop down menu and select your shape. Let's go ahead and pick a sine wave. I'll go ahead over and solo the track and let's take a listen. I could do the same thing, select an area and select say a triangle wave. And here's what that would sound like. But it gets really cool when you start stretching and skewing these automations. You can see when highlighted, the box is surrounded by what they're calling automation transfer handles. I'm gonna just call them handles from now on. If I grab the middle one, I could now stretch this. It's going to adapt to the grid. So if I make my shape twice as small, it'll be twice as fast time-wise as well. And this is great for quick sketching. Super easy to get the right time base and get it moving the way you want quickly. And there's two other handles. You have the one at the top. This will adjust the entire automation on an angle from the corner. And on the bottom, it'll do the same thing, but opposite. A few modifier commands have been added. If I hold shift and stretch from the middle, I get what's called a time stretch or ripple effect. And holding option or alt will adjust two handles simultaneously. Next up, let's take a look at how draw mode's been improved with simplified curves. But just before we get going, I'd like to invite you to join the community by hitting the subscribe and activate notifications. That way you won't miss a beat and you'll get the heads up on all the things as soon as we post them. All right, so let's go ahead and erase this automation. So to get into draw mode freehand drawing, we have to deactivate the grid with command four. Next, let's engage our pen tool with B. Now I can start drawing in these shapes and it recognizes curved movements. Overall, there's less breakpoints added. And if you want to reduce your breakpoints even more, you could hit this simplify envelope command. This makes editing recorded automations more comfortable. Curve-like movements are simplified into C and S shapes whenever possible. Let's quickly take a look at the difference between Ableton 10 and Ableton 10.1. With this comparison, you can clearly see how many more breakpoints were used in Ableton 10, and in Ableton 10.1, they have been greatly reduced. Finally, let's take a look at numerical value input. 
So to me, this is one of those heaven scents. And the first thing I thought of to demo this was a technique I use in almost all of my builds. So we all want our drop to hit with the most amount of energy in our song. So it reminds me of that old sweet and sour rule. If there's no sweet, there's no sour. And if there's no quiet, there's no loud. So what I usually like to do is reduce my volume in my build by 3 dB and then have it come up to a negative 1 dB right here at the end of the build and then hitting full force of zero right on the drop. Now this was always really annoying because, you know, to get the exact number was difficult, but now all I have to do is right click, select edit value, and type in the value that I'm looking for. I'll just type in negative three and it's as easy as that. It's a simple feature, but it's really going to make life a lot easier. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for this feature. Remember, the Ableton certified trainers here at Warp Academy have done a full playlist with in-depth looks at each of these new features. So check them out so you guys can get up and running as fast as possible. And if you like my teaching style, please consider checking out my YouTube page where we have a lot of fun over there. Plus, we do some finger drumming. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll catch you soon. See ya.